I technically didn't have anything to do with the science in this first segment, but I'm here in the studio, so I'm calling it a collab. Check it out. Parks help us relax, spend time with friends and family, and enjoy nature, which is great. No, really, it is. But what if you could do all that and learn about science? In Louisville, Kentucky, the local community is making that happen with the opening of the Science Playport. Designed to encourage hands-on education, the Playport is a joint initiative of the Kentucky Science Center and Louisville's expansive waterfront park. Today, we're meeting two of the Science Center's STEM communicators, Megan Sleeper, the off-site programmer, and Mira Johnson, the director of education. What I love about my job is I get to talk about physics and chemistry, weaving and ceramics. So I'm super proud to be able to contribute that to the community around here. I hope the work we do provides a seed of inspiration. It gets someone to stop and think, hey, that's pretty cool. Inspired by Louisville's rich industrial history of shipping, mining, and construction, the Playport uses outdoor fun to teach science fundamentals, a mission shared by the Turf Mutt Foundation, the sponsor of this segment. Welcome to Playport! The Playport is just a part of the Kentucky Science Center's commitment to bring science directly to kids with communicators like Megan, sharing science education across the state and beyond. So STEM communication is all about taking big concepts that seem inaccessible and boiling them down to the basics that affect people's everyday lives. At the Science Center, some of the main ways that we do science communication are using small-scale models and hands-on experimentation. I'm going to teach you about weight distribution using this paper cup. We can assume that if I step on this paper cup, it is going to crush. And look at that, it did. But could we get just a few more paper cups to hold my entire body weight? Adding extra cups means that each cup only has to support a little bit of my weight. The most important difference is that I space these cups out far apart from each other and I add something like this board that distributes my weight across them. And now, Five little paper cups can hold a full-grown science communicator. Let's take this experiment to the next level. This flimsy cardboard will be our second layer. So I'm adding five more paper cups, and hopefully the science will hold my weight on two layers of cups. And this is the tower that science built. This kind of hands-on science education is in every exhibit at the Playport. Kids experiment with physics fundamentals like gravity, force, motion, and simple machines. Pull! <laughs> Educational signs throughout the playground explain the scientific concepts behind these structures. A slide like this is an example of an inclined plane. It's a simple machine that helps us move heavy weights from high positions to low positions or vice versa. This is a pulley system attached to a screw. This cut smooth buoy from the river back onto the ship. These tires are from local construction equipment. This dump truck is from a real construction site in Kentucky. Dump trucks and other machines like roller coasters use momentum to move very heavy things with very little energy. This is an example of a wheel and axle. Turbines like this are used to generate energy and to propel boats forward. <laughs> Louisville's local community is propelled forward by projects like this. And hopefully, Playport inspires other cities to follow their lead. By providing this kind of venue, it allows people to come together, socialize, teach, and engage with one another. I love that kids can come here and have fun and learn at the same time. I'm so energized at seeing all the hard work and all the collaboration pay off. Our hope is that this park will make science accessible to our community and inspire curiosity. If you're watching this, you must have really liked the video. Make sure you follow and subscribe and check out these other videos that are even better. No, really, I've seen this one over a hundred times.